All right, let's snap of that. So, this is VEDA, right? VEDA, vlog every day, August. I guess I'm late to the party halfway. It's about par for me. Anyway, walking and vlogging. that bird. Anybody know the name of that bird? <clears throat> so, Chris Perillo, Locker Gnome. Now you raised the question like whether anyone even buys PCs anymore. And pointed to this Google trends or um, <clears throat> a chart of the search term computer since like 05 and it's gone down and down and down but it's sort of leveling off link in the description uh, and I would agree with that but I also think that you know we use a lot of different terms now for computer that people might be searching for it's like in 05 yeah you want a new computer you put in computer I don't know if you would even you might put in laptop and not tablet or touch screen, maybe motherboard if you were geeky and putting together your own computer or tower, I don't know, you know? So, uh, but, um, you know, it's, I mean, everything is a computer. Game consoles are computers. Phones are computers first and phones second now, pretty much. They're little touch screens. They're just little touch screens. What the hell's the difference? I guess the difference uh, between computers and a you know a video game or something like that is the input device. You know, the computer, keystrokes. See, that's one thing I think. You know, you keep trying to reinvent the wheel on that, and I don't know. I don't like really typing on on a flat screen on a touch screen. Um, I can do it, but you know, I like a nice action. I like a big you know, keyboard. And I think people with big fingers like one, you know. And if you have a dain dainty hands, they might seem big and clunky. Um, I think keyboards are here for a while. The video game, of course, you know, your input is the game controller. And, you know, there's other things, but, but primarily when you're playing the game, you know, it's the controller, whether it's a, a Wii or a uh, whatever the hell, you know, whatever the hell. I used to play video games. I did. Long ago. They cost 25 cents each go around. Yep. I had friends who could, like, play Defender. This one guy, he could play, I mean, he racked up just hundreds of lives and could play for endless till he would just give it up to you. And here you go. And, uh, yeah, I just got sick of spending money on that. I think I had an Atari 5200. And, uh, uh, that was about where it ended. Reuse. I know. Not much animal action going on. Those are all deer trails. I think also uh, people might not be searching as often for that term because their computers are lasting longer. So it's longer time in between searches. That could have something to do with it. But. Uh, I think PCs will always be with us. I think uh, they'll just become boutique, like you know, hard, nice hardback books or you know, coffee table books, and, uh, vinyl records. You know, those haven't gone away. Yes, the market's tiny compared to what it was in 1978, but you know, it's still here. Cassettes are still here. CDs are still here. DVDs. 
you know, there's just a lot of people in this world that still want a hard copy that aren't too, you know, they don't trust the cloud yet. I don't know. I don't think I have anything in the cloud, really, do I? Do I have anything in the cloud? Probably. This is the T right here. And the person I have a feeling just sliced it all the way over across the road. Like basically would have hit these people walking up the road here. It's pretty windy. So, like I said, yep, boutique. Anyway, uh, I guess that's the thought for the day. A couple bullet points. take so much of that. So much cute butterflies swirling around each other. I think I got some. Did I get some? Let's go to the tape. Tape. Flat turn. Film. Do we film anything anymore? Here's another boutique thing. Film. People still use it. Fine art photography. Darkroom photography, I suppose. Hmm, dark rooms. Remember those? Hot and sweaty.